Hello everyone and welcome back to Wonderland Explorers. I feel like somebody's watching this. I just can't pinpoint who it is. <laughs> this is the second part of our video here at Universal Studios for the Mardi Gras celebration. Yeah. And I'm excited because there's still a lot we haven't tried and a lot we haven't seen yet. Yeah, so tonight we're going to definitely take advantage of some more food. You can check out the parade. Yes. Okay. Maybe even a concert. I don't know. We'll see. Come <laughs> along with us as we explore. We are making our way to our first food tent. It's a boil tent, so there's got all different types of boils here. We got shrimp boil, we got a crawfish boil. All of it, I think, is going to be really, really good. I, I know we're personally very excited for this one. We've had the jambalaya, we've had the gumbo, but I think, I think the shrimp boil can't go wrong with one of those. Definitely have a rule, and we try to say that if the line is pretty long, you know it should be pretty good. This so far has had the longest line. Well, look at this jazzy chef we just stumbled on. He's got a lot going on in that pot there. Look, he's got his little crawdad. He's even got an alligator. I, I think they're a little too happy to be in that pot. Look at that face. That is a uh, that is a chef with a plan. A very menacing plan. A very jazzy plan. Look at this. Look at this guy. So for this booth, we decided to go with the crawfish and shrimp oil. But this time, we also decided to try out a Category 5 punch, which, look at this. They serve in this fun little uh, souvenir glass. And the fun part is, is that this changes color. So this was actually green, now it's this pretty blue color. And as we make our way throughout the event, we can actually get this refilled. And it, we get a special price. So like this was like $11, plus you get your annual pass discount. If you wanted to get this refilled, it's about nine bucks. So it, it's kind of fun. Oh baby, the hurricane coming in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Look yeah. what I got. Ooh. Look how cute that is. It's even in the little bag. Like, That's you know. a ball. That's a ball. Uh -huh. That's a real good boil. We have finally got the piece de resistance, Ooh. the crawfish, and the shrimp. Yes. Uh huh. Mardi Gras is underway. You're gonna have your redemption of the crawfish. All right. Tear Let's it blow in the air. <laughs> so tuck that under. All right. Does the shrimp have like the feet and stuff on it? Or? I think it does. Yeah, it's all shelled. So you have to peel it. It's peel and eat. Yeah. So I mean, I know a lot of people don't like that, but it's actually a good thing with the boils. Cause then it like holds in all the juice. Ooh. 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 That went everywhere. There's the juice. <laughs> There's the juice. Mm -hmm. Shrimpies. That's a solid shrimp. Very tasty. I like that. I'm more curious about the crawfish. The problem with the crawfish is like you don't get a lot of it. You don't. Wait, it's not that you don't get a lot of them. You don't get a lot of them, and there's not a lot of meat in crawfish. I am not the crawfish master here. So I have to say, this may be a little bit of a mess. Oh, this one's horrible. This one, I did not, I, oh man. Oh man. <laughs> the great the, the great people of Louisiana are just, just crying right now with my attempt to I, I'm just gonna go up with the this. camera. Oh man, it's it's horrible. All right. That's a pretty good bit of meat. Very good, very buttery, very, very salty. Very, very salty. Oh man, going right in for the juicy ones. Yeah. Look at the beautiful color of it. You know, it's like white. <laughs> yeah, that's a solid shrimp. It's good. I don't like it when it's like fishy, you know? That's good. You can taste like the Cajun seasoning on there. Mm. So they give you a lot of sausage. Wow. Yeah, and you can see they put a lot of spice in there too. It's a hunk and chunk of sausage. Oh yeah. That has great flavor as well. There is heat in these sausages, but that's to be expected. Yeah, I think overall, if you want to eat this on your own, it would be a great portion. You can split it as well, like if there's any other things you want to try. Yeah. I like this dish. I'd give it a four out of five. So we'll try the category five. Very good. This one's a creeper. You don't really, like you taste the dark rum, but you don't kind of thing, if you know what I mean. What I think is kind of cool, look at this. So, you know, I was oh, telling you how the color straw. changes. Oh, yeah, too. The straw changes, and <gasps> that's what I was saying. So, the cup was green when I saw her pour in it, but now, like, when I hold it. That's cool. Isn't that cool? Like, that's kind of cool. I, I like that. That's just fun. All right, it's like a fun little touch. This is a really good drink. It's cute, too. I didn't realize that. You were telling me, like, when you touch it, it changes colors. How fun! This is very like fruit punchy, delicious, good. I give this a five out of five.
Well, it looks like we found some uh, sugar power for the floats. Creole crab beignets, ube ice cream bubble waffle, Mardi Gras bubble waffle. Man, these are, uh, these look like these could be very tasty. Even got a carrot cake concoction beverage. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I think we're gonna skip the treats for right now. Yeah. We got a long night ahead of us. We can't can't go too sugar crazy. <laughs> no. It did look good though. I did. We saw some coming out. You know, it, it looked like it'd be a little tasty. We'll definitely have to come back and try those out. Yeah. But I did see a certain chicken dish that looked pretty darn good. You know, I love chicken, so yeah. I think we're gonna head that way and go check that out. Yes. Have you read the J.K. Rowling book about Mardi Gras? No. It's called Fantastic Beads and Where to Find Them. So I think it's time that we get some food that feels like it's gonna, you know, stick to your ribs kind of food. Because it has gotten so cold here. And I know, I know it's freezing the rest of the country, but I'll tell you what, it was about 80 degrees yesterday. 80, 90, almost 90 degrees, it's crazy. And today, I, I mean, it's like, it feels like it's in the 30s. It is intense this evening here at Mardi Gras. So they have two options at this booth. You can either get some Nashville hot chicken mac and cheese, which does sound very good. And I love myself some Nashville hot chicken. Or they have a chicken biscuit with some like coleslaw that sounds amazing with like gravy and whew, you, you know, and that's the stuff you need on these cold days. I love Mardi Gras with every bead of my heart. Kid. Anyway, we're with the uh, we're with the chicken biscuit sandwich. It's got gravy on there. It's a little bit of coleslaw. It's got pickles. I, I think this is gonna be good for right now because it, it has certainly gotten very chilly, very, very chilly. And it's hilarious too, because you can tell like people who came here prepared and then those who didn't, because they're like, they're going to the gift shop, they're buying like hoodies and leggings and pants and all this stuff, because it is like, it's insane. But the party's gonna kick off, right? Because we gotta get ready for, for Mardi Gras, the parade, the festivities, more's coming. Let's try this sandwich. Oh man, this is like a huge chunk of chicken. Very tasty. That chicken is delicious. And that gravy's not bad. You can't beat it. It was what, like 10 bucks, I think? Mm -hmm. It is a lot. It's a lot of food for $10. And again, you get the discount. The slaw's not bad. It's not It's not great. It's not bad. The slaw's like a three out of five. That still means it's, 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 not, it's good. It's not the greatest. But the sandwich is very good. That's very, very delicious. Highly recommend the sandwich. Solid four out of five. I'll be curious what you think, because you like, you like country gravy. That is very good. Um, the chicken is very moist and tender for being like fried chicken. It has a good outer crunch. The gravy on there kind of gives it like it's like a red gravy, so it gives it like a good saltiness for the spice. And the biscuit's very fluffy and good. Yeah, put it all together, I'd definitely give it a four out of five. I, I think like so far between all the things that we've had coming to Mardi Gras here at Universal, we had the gumbo, we had the jambalaya, we've had like the king cake, we tried we tried a, one of the mixed drinks, now we're having this biscuit. I would say so far we've really enjoyed the gumbo and this chicken biscuit sandwich. That's been really good. The other stuff was, not that it was bad, I just think it wasn't as strong as those two dishes. So, so far that's that, that's what we like. Then we did notice, as I was saying, they have like a Nashville hot chicken mac and cheese. And that's really what a lot of the people in that line were going for. So I, I think next time we come back here, we're gonna have to try that one out. It, it did look good. And everything coming out of that food truck were like really big like portions. That's one thing I'm noticing about all these booths at this festival is like, you get very decent sized portions for the money. Now you compare that to like what's going on over at Epcot for whether food and wine, flower and garden, uh, you know, festival of the arts. The portion sizes are getting a little smaller. The prices are kind of going up. So I think Universal's got a pretty, pretty good value going on here for this Mardi Gras festival. things that we're actually noticing is that there's been like a bunch of street performers coming out. Yeah, they come out at night. Like they haven't yeah. been out all day and then like yeah. now we see them. And but we oh we spotted some and there's the best ones. Can't wait to show them to you. Yeah. Performers are just so nice. 
to see return to a theme park. And especially at this like after hours event that's just absolutely free and so much fun. And they're all different, tying into this out of this world theme. Just like, I'm loving this. Just it's absolutely fantastic. astronaut characters that were walking around. That was so much fun. Yeah. yeah. Uh, our little spacemen come to life. Yeah. yeah. We had a whole group of them. We had a whole group of spacemen. <laughs> spacemen Deluxe. We should have did the right one. Oh, yeah, it was funny because like as we were walking away, I was trying to grab it, but there's a couple of them doing the moonwalk. And I was like, oh my goodness, <laughs> it was too funny. Okay, so we, we had to stop into one of the stores. Like, I don't want to sound like a broken record. But it's got so cold. I was like, the jacket's not cutting it. We gotta find some sweatshirts. <laughs> so uh, it's been kind of hard. Like, you, there's a bunch here, and I'm like, yeah, I kind of like them. I kind of don't. I wanted to find something that like I wasn't just gonna buy to keep me warm for the event. Like, I'll actually wear it again. I found this one. It's really cool. It's a uh, creature from the Black Lagoon hoodie. And then it's got uh, some writing that goes down the arm. Centuries of passion. Yes, yes, quite. Right on the front. Yes, 3D. <laughs> now available, 3D. Centuries of passion. The cool. 100s, Tristan Eat. There you go. So, I'm gonna go with this. It's super thin. It's gonna keep me warm. We found a spot. We're getting situated. Yes. We got ourselves a, a hot beverage. Cheers. Cheers, cheers. Much needed, much needed. Very delicious. How many beats are we going for? Ten. Ten beats? Okay. Ten five. All right. so hard to 
do this camera and see the see the people pelt the beads. <laughs> this is round four. I'm seeing these people. They're gonna be intense. Oh, oh my goodness! Beads everywhere. Beads everywhere. Beads. 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 Don't bear me down. Beads don't bear me down. Inducing though, because they're again, it's just it's a lot of whipping, and you're like, ah, <laughs> these are like some C3PO Mardi Gras characters here. Here's the Adams College Adams. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh! I'm sorry. <laughs> parade unbelievable yeah so much fun and that's not it so now we're gonna head over because we have a special concert to go see yeah you've been dying to see it yeah sugar ray let's go do this number one song? Yeah! My mic's off. Have you ever heard the song number one song? You're here if you did not. Sing! Let's rejoice, let's go! Every morning there's a halo hanging from the corner I sit around and wonder why you were always there for me I just wanna fly. 
Well, guys, we did it all. Yeah, Mardi Gras. We did it all. 2022. Officially. First night in the books. In the books. <laughs> Woo. Man, what a day. And I'm, I'm glad we split up the videos, too. So we hope you guys really enjoyed them and, you know, we're able to take in all the experiences with us. Because it was a lot. Yeah, it was it's a lot. It's definitely a lot. It was yeah. a lot to take in. So that way you really get to be immersed in the experience as well. Yeah, yeah. And, man, like... Sugar Ray in the in the parade, like I yeah. loved all of it. It was so it was I have so. I say fun. we timed Sugar Ray, and he's yeah. still talking actually. But like yeah. it was an hour and fifteen minutes when he ended the show, and he's yeah. kind of like still talking a little bit. But it's it's pretty much over with. They played a full concert. Yeah. They legitimately played a full concert. It was awesome. Like they were so good. Like it took it took me back to the nineties. It really did. It was yeah. great. It was so much fun. I hope you guys had a lot of fun. We had so much fun coming out here. Today. Today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe. And as always, till next time, friends. Bye! Bye.